Marie-Philippe Poulain has been dubbed Captain Clutch by the media. But let's be honest, the media usually only focuses on the big names. So I used PWHL data to discover the top five most clutch goals of season one. And what I discovered was kinda crazy. I found this great data set of play-by-play -play data on GitHub. I started with some data processing and exploration in Google Colab before moving over to Observable to do the visualization. I based my clutch stat on four factors. One, time passing a game. I just feel like late game goals are more clutch. Two, game winning value. So game winning goals are more clutch, for example. Three, whether it was a shorthanded or a power play goal. And four, buzzer beater. I just think buzzer beater goals are electric and seem extra clutch. I assigned some values for these different scenarios, but if you want, you can hop into this clutch calculator in the link in the description and play around with the settings. After configuring the settings, I calculated the clutchness using a weighted average of the four factors. I normalized everything so that it would spit out a clutch score between 0 and 100. With all that said, are you ready for the reveal? February 27, 2024. Toronto was leading Minnesota 3-2. Minnesota was doing everything they could to make it to overtime. Dasher, Comfort trying to get to it, held in, Minnesota, dangerous, they score! Sophie Jakes does it again! What also made this game fun was that it was their Black History celebration, and even though there's only a few Black players in the league, Sarah Nurse and Sophie Jakes absolutely came to play that day, both scoring two goals and earning the first and second star of the game. January 20, 2024. I'm pretty sure my clutch calculator would be broken if MPP didn't show up on this list. It was Toronto and Montreal's first ever PWHL game. The teams had traded goals back and forth, but Toronto was leading 3-2 at the end of the game. It before the Montreal Blue Line, she knows she's got to speed up. She takes the far side. It's Captain Clutch time. Can she do it? She does! Not only was this goal just insanely cool, but it was also her second of the night. I have another video that goes into depth on this game and I linked it in the description. 17.3 seconds left here in regulation. February 23, 2024. It's been a super low scoring game, but Toronto has the lead late in the third with one goal. New York has pulled their goaltender in the dying moments of the game. Seconds continue to wind down Natalie Spooner. And now in front, Shelton scores! Now, this game would eventually go to shootouts and New York would lose, but this is for all the haters that said that New York was bad last season. For the record, I never thought they were bad. Um, but I'm glad that everybody's waking up now. to get three points in regulation. What's the key to kind of chip away, tie this game up here early? Yeah, we got to play, play desperate, play like our life depends on it because it obviously does here, so. Um. April 27, 2024. It's a tie game. All Minnesota needed to clinch a playoff spot was to end this game in a tie. And Boston was just fighting to keep their playoff dream alive. Trying to beat Nicole Hensley short side. watching this game on the bus and I was just absolutely gagged. I have a video all about this moment and I linked it in the description. January 23, 2024. The game was tied at two apiece. Ottawa was on a losing streak having lost their previous five games all by one point and Ottawa was on the penalty kill. 
20 seconds still in this period. Clark looking for a chance or hand at Gabby Hughes. She scores! A jailbreak goal for Ottawa. Hughes with her second of the night. Not only did Gabby Hughes spring her teammate from the box, this would end up being the game winner and also her second goal of the night. I honestly didn't watch this game, but I'm so glad I discovered this goal because the context makes it even more clutch. And that's all I have for today. What did you guys think about the top five list? Um, let me know if you want a part two or if there's any improvements you think I should make to my clutch calculator and hop into the link in the description if you want to explore the data yourselves.